what are we doing here with these three bottles? We teased it last weekend. Ooh. Voila, menage Port -tois. Port -tois. Let's test it. Test it! Ah, this just looks fun. This looks whimsical and tasty. We had a lot of comments, of course, with the Rise shootout, and we've done a couple of shootouts blind, basically yes. where I've poured your samples, right. you've poured mine. Right. I don't know which is which. We're going to sit down, we're going to figure out which one of these port finished scotches we like. Right. But I've got, so on my, I've got uh, 122 is on C. Right. 123 is on B. And 124 is on my A, which we'll find out which one's covering what when we're done. Your 124 is on your A. Yep. <laughs> no need to start it. 125, 126, 128, because we had a fan that actually had requested number 127. So, of course, that was, I don't think, ever on a show. They just said, hey, I want 127. And uh, we sent that one, so that's the reason for the break. That was Bubba and the Beard. That was it their was, favorite number. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, and also, these are older. These are back into the 120s because we I found a stash of about 10, 12 coins right. that had been put away. Right. So, now, we've got a cleansing we have on the nose. nose on the palate. We've got a cleansing on the flavor palate. Who are these from? We've got Wee Oat Cakes that yes. were sent to us by Roy Duff. He's one of our Patreon supporters. Uh -huh. They're from Scotland. And he says this is what... They don't eat crackers. Right. These are oat cakes. This oat is cakes. what they eat in Scotland when they're drinking whiskey. That's what he said. That's what he drinks. We also have these Orkney Thins mm -hmm. from uh, Stockins. Stockings. Stockings. Stock Stockins. Yeah. Stockins. And these are Cath. I'm sure we're, we're pronouncing that right. Cathness. Oh, yeah. We know exactly. Cathness Biscuits. I like that they're wee Cases. biscuits. Wee, they're wee, wee oat, cakes. oat cakes. That means they're tiny. They're tiny. We got a Scotch God shout out. We got a Scotch we God shout out. Let's you comment. Man. You may get on the show. You throw in a comment. It stands out, steps above. It may hit the show. Hit it, brother. Hit go, it. go back to the Kilhoman Ooh. quarter cask, Ooh. cask string. Strong. Yes. That's like double strength. The one glass man. Nice name. Yes. I'll try it, guys, but it's interesting to keep in mind that Lafroig 10 cask strength is cheaper. Sure. Oogie and Corey, the Ardbegs, uh, Oogadal and Corey Vrecken are cheaper. Go check out our Oogie, Oogie, Corey, and Ardbeg 10 shootout. The Port Charlotte 10 year old at 50% ABV is cheaper, just to name a few good, high strength peated malts. But thanks for a great review as always. True. I now love that comes in the because the, the, the Kilhoman quarter cast castrix was just over $100. It was $101. But delicious. And it's yes. a fight. I think it's a fight. Now, okay, we do have a correction to issue on that. Really? Yes. We, we stated it as a NAS. And it's not stated, but the bottle does have the date that it was distilled and the date it was bottled. Hmm. Someone pointed out. We need. We should be wearing the Dunst correction hat. <clears throat> That's interesting. So they said technically it's not an NAS. They just don't shout it. Shout it. They don't shout now, it. Now this out. does they have uh, July 10th of 2016 okay. as, on here bottling as a date. date. I imagine that's the bottling date. Would figure. Um, but I guess I do not see bottled 2016, distilled 2010. Got it. That's there. Yeah. Okay. So they just don't. They're not. So bottled 2016, distilled 2010. Yeah. So it's six years old. Yeah. Well, it could be five, just depending on what month. True. Good it could point. be five years and two months, five years and ten months, six. But, yeah. So, correction, issued. Not an NAS. Not an NAS, just just soft. Just, <laughs> just, just understand. Read between the lines. All right, so this okay. has got me excited because... We started doing, the very first first port cask I ever had was the Tomat. By the way, stay tuned for another contest where you can win whoop, a free bottle of whiskey from Tomatin. Not this one. All right, stay tuned at the end. Try this first. Special bottle here. And then... We'll say what it is in case you don't know. Tomatin 14. Good, thank you. Balvini 21-year portwood. Yes. And the Aaron port cask finish. Right. NAS. So we do have a NAS. We've got a 21 year and a 14 year all port cask finish. Right. Let's see which one stands out. Right. Now, the reason is 50 to $60 on the Tomatin. 
Yes. $220 on the Balvini. 21 years. $70 on the Aaron. Interesting. And we even did a show where we just tried some port wine because we like to try the base sometimes. Uh -huh. We actually yeah. filmed that over there. <laughs> All right, so we're blind. And uh, I don't know, uh, I mean, I know what your A is. <laughs> <laughs> Notice there is no D. We just have A, B, C. Right, right. Okay. Now, had Cousin Shane been here, we might have arranged it so that we were at least smelling the exact same one at the same time. Yeah, but you're gonna do your little. But someone, the that. thing is, which is a good idea. Someone else pointed out though too is that if you were talking heavily about your A, and it was the same as my A, it could influence I, my. I actually agree with opinion. that. Yeah. I agree with that. If they were the same. Right. Um, yeah. So I think having them mixed up, having them different. Could be because you suddenly say, "Ooh, I'm also getting X, Y, Z," and I'm like, "Oh, me too." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, being totally triple blind. No, that'd be double blind, right? Yeah, it's double blind, maybe. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. I know. There's something out there. There's a phrase out there, but I got it. I'm off on the phrasing. Okay, A, my A, oaky, woody. Hmm. I don't detect too much of a port on the nose. And also, all three of these have been open. Uh, the Balvini has, is, is the lowest one. Um, it's been stored uh, in the case, uh, in the basement. Um, these others have been open for several months as well. Sweet so. jam. Sweet jam on my A. Candy. Maybe a cherry licorice. Almost almost maybe a little hint of the nibs, the cherry nibs, which I love. I got the maltiness. Interesting. And almost like a uh, purple grape. Not a white grape or a light berry but more of a grape grape smell my grape hand. juice Ooh. oh wow okay uh b feels round and and uh the wow i get more of a uh like a not really a cherry well kind of a cherry almost like the the cherry that's Freshly washed, like you just washed a bunch of cherries. Um, the the fruit is much more pronounced here. It's not as sweet or candied. It's more or jammed like A was. It's fruit. It's like a, a basket of fresh washed fruit, clean, crisp, and extremely pleasant to nose. That that's a fruit basket. My A seems a little harsher than my B. I would agree with your A. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a harsh A. <laughs> sorry. Don't even start. Sorry, sorry. This is hearkening back the to B, the Rye shootout. The B seems... <laughs> for, I can get the light fruits, the berries. Hmm. I can get what seems like a more aged oak. Oh, boy. I think your B is my C. I get a lot stronger wood influence on the sea. Definitely uh, the oaken, the oaken wood carrying through the the fruit flavors have depth. It's the second thing to come to my nose. First is the wood, then uh, the fruit. But it's it's almost like. It comes also very close to an aged wine. It really mm. does, where I get a, a nice wine note. I'm no wine expert, but I almost want to say, um, gosh, I don't know. I, I, I can't name the wine, but I mean, I know there's a port influence here. But Ooh. Yeah, what do you got? Wow. This is oaken. I believe okay. this is probably the Balvenie 21, just based on the time that it's spent in the wood. I'm not guessing on what. Okay. But uh, originally juicy fruit, grapes, oak, fruit, light berries, raspberry. So interesting. Did you have one that was more of a sweetness? This one, I would say C. Okay, all right. See, because uh, my sweetness was my A. 
and I have a premonition on which is which here, but I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to premonish. I, well, I don't want to, I don't want to influence. I'm just sitting here. I'm going to no, go no. through. I'll wait. Maybe after I get done tasting or when I choose which okay. one, I'll say oh, what I think is. Well, I'm going to say based on those, I would actually say A is Aaron, uh, B is Tomatin, and C is this uh, ball. But, you know, am I saying things bad? <laughs> Yeah, definitely more maltiness on my A than, than any of the other three. I think that's, I, I agree, my B has the malted and the fruity mm. basket. It's very interesting how these are different. Now, of course, we do have the different years here. Wow, okay. The, NAS the, the A, uh, the palate on the A is completely different than the nose. Hmm. I can tell you the nose... For me, on the A was the le my least favorite of the three. Delicious taste, though. Great. Oh, the port finish, the berries are strong on the palate. Mm. Oakiness. And we didn't talk about real quick. I think these are all pretty close in ABV as well. I bet you these are all in the wow. 40s. Let's see real quick. Okay. Tibetan is 46. Okay. 50% ABV on the oh, Aaron. So that's the highest. 43 on the Baldini. Wow. So 50, 43, 46. All right. So A on the taste, wow. I get a lot okay. of uh, wood influence. Mm. Um, forefront is a fruity, slightly floral, and a little bit of a of that uh, almost like a watered-down wine. That's in there. I don't know why I said wine. I really went into the wine there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, and then and then the oak is there, and and I still do get that, almost like the aftertaste of a of a port wine, almost a white wine or a dry wine. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, finish sweetens up just right there. It started to give me a little burst of of sugar, sugared yeah. water. Very sweet. Not very sweet. Some sweetness. The port wine, the berries, a little bit of a honey, citrus sweetness as well. Just take a little bite of the wee oat cracker. Oh, or oat, oat uh, cake. cake. Okay. So, Whew. oat cakes have been eaten. Cleansed. So, I'm moving to the B. I'm moving on to my B. Again, this is the one that gave me the best fruit, fresh fruitness. My B is more more oaky. Some of the port berry notes are there and seem more more aged. Mm. Wow. Velvety richness. Much more of a mouth feel here. Um, wow. I'm going to have to come back to the middle palette, the finish. Gave me a tanginess, almost like uh, just a raw fermenting fruit with a uh, with almost a a grape juice kind of sweetness with a little bit of the tart. Not as much wood, but I'm gonna have to come back on this one. Wow, go sir, go! Mm. Wow. Mm. B, the port wine, or the port finish, really evident on the sweetness, berries, raspberry, grapes, oak. Hmm. I'm debating adding water to these. I, I will do that after I've gone through this first well, round. I want to do that. Out. Well, you can do yeah, whatever you well, want. I'm going to add it to A and B. Because this one feels stronger. If I, It's funny. I'm thinking I'm almost off. This feels like a 50% ABV. I'm getting more on the alcohol forefront. The oak's kind of in the middle. And it's an interesting oak. It's, it's almost a slight touch of sour. And then it pops into that, that grape juice fermenting mm. fruit flavor. The finish is where that sweetness lingers. 
that almost that same finish I get from like a Welch's grape juice. You know, and yeah. uh, uh, takes yeah. me almost back to my youth. My grandmother would give me this little breakfast glass with Welch's grape juice, and and I feel like that's what I'm getting at the finish. That's interesting. That's tasty. I've I've got a little bit of that with both A and B both. Mm. Mm. It was a real quick bite of cracker. Oh, oh, cake. Mm. Oh, cake. Thank you, Roy. Mm hmm. Really, thank you, Roy. <laughs> wow. I want to do a little water. The oat cake lingered a little bit in between. You want any water? Both of, both of those seem a drink? No. Both my A and B seem pretty similar. I think B, well, I, I don't know. Do B it. may have been stronger. Do it. Yeah, this this is... one, the nose on C is definitely... More like a tropical fruit, a juicy fruit. Jumps right up and gets you. There's so much sweetness in there with it. Mmm. Mmm. This feels like a 21-year-old. <laughs> I mean, as it enters right on the palate, it... it... All right, hold on. Holding on. Yeah, uh, it's giving me a lot here. The oak is strong in the middle. The finish is tangy sweet with lingering, dare I say, more than lingering wood notes. I mean, the wood, wood here is strong. I gotta get this front down. Sorry, go ahead, let me, mm -hmm. let me try to hit this front end. Oakiness, the port is there. All good, all three of these have got a great port finish. Sweetness, the grapes, Oakiness. Hmm. 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 All right. All right. Um, almost a, 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 an instant touch of tangerine and then gone. Hmm. And uh, the tanginess lingers as it moves into that, that oaken middle. And then, like I said, it transitions into both the sweetness and kind of a dusty old dock you know like the wood of a dock that's sitting in the sun i don't get the saltiness or anything is there a seagull <laughs> there's no seagulls flying uh there's there's a few little boop, boop, there's little know. fish are popping up i don't up know up. what that is yeah there's little boop. like little fish come up and they make a little like boop, like that you're going for some water i'm gonna have to add some water here hmm this is interesting. Yeah, these are all. I can tell you, a uh, the nose is distinct on the a, the maltiness that's present in it, and that's what's leading me to believe which one it is. Hmm. What I'm liking is how similar yet different these are. Hmm. I thought they were going. I, I thought the 21 year old was going to stand out, but Ooh. I wasn't sure I'd be able to. And I'm not sure I've got them picked right, but they're definitely, I mean, they're uniquely similar, if that makes sense. A has the definite oakiness, the definite maltiness. The port finish is in there. All those fruits are coming out. A honey. Back to the B. Hmm. Water's not changing this much. Mm. Well, B, I get a little bit more fruit than, than oak. B is very smooth, very oh. fruity, very porty. Porty? Mm-hmm. Delicious on the palate. Oh, I'd forgotten how much I like to pour it finish. I hadn't touched, uh, these are your two bottles, but I hadn't touched mm -hmm. my tomato in quite some mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. C. Very, C and B, my B and C are very similar. Very similar. I don't know. The longer I go, the more I feel like I can't peg any of these. <laughs> I thought I had them. As I'm tasting now, 
I it's tough. Like not. Yeah. It is tough. These are all, they're all well done. Mm -hmm. And I guess when we when we try to figure it out and guess which one is which, we'll see how. Wow. Wow. Mm. I still got to go with the wood flavors. I think are, are the influence from the twenty one. The A again, uh, it, it, it separates itself with more of a maltiness than the than my B and C. Okay. I'm looking at, uh, I wrote his down over here. Mm. I'm going to do a little tiny cleanse. B and C, I'm just going to, uh, and not that I wouldn't buy it again, I think my A is the tomatin and the maltiness is separating it. I think the B and the C have enough sweetness between them. I'm going to try to separate and pick one of these here. These are definitely sweeter. See, I'm so unsure of my picks now. <laughs> that, that I, I felt like the nose distinguished me more. As soon as I started tasting, I felt like I was in the land of the lost. Slee stacks running around. <laughs> Dinosaurs. This is tougher than the rye. These yeah. are so similar, mm -hmm. so close. Mm. But, I mean, we don't have a strong, I mean, besides a 50% ABV, we don't have a real strong one. They're all pretty close, 53, 46, and 50. Does the age of the Balvini stand out? I think so, if I'm correct. <laughs> no, if you're correct, if yeah, I'm correct, yeah. if, if the, the wood influence I'm getting here are correct, it's the 21. Um, huh. But, but uh, boy, there's some alchemy going on here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. All right. I think we're going to have to hold on. Got a little bit of splash back there. All right. Oh. Well, should we do the reveal before we talk about... Um, yeah, let's get done here first. All right. Let me enjoy it. I want to enjoy some of these after I know what their names are. So <laughs> Why don't you tell me... I, again, I felt I'm like... Not, I, I, I hate to pick one. I know. What, what's my A? Or are you done? Are you going to pick one? I'm done. Is one uh, well, does I kinda, one stand I out? Named it. Does oh, one boy. stand out? Oh boy! Yeah. I know. This one. This one I, just because, um, and, and I think it's the I think it's the Aaron. Uh, my B, I think, is the Aaron, and uh, it stood out. You, you know, I'm not as the wood heavy. Um, it, it's very tasty. It's good. I'm just not as much into the oak flavors. So. B would be the one I would probably um, stand out. But you're right, they're all delicious. They're all uh, port yet distinct. So B. B, I think, is the Aaron. So how about you just confirm that one for me? What is B, sir? I think Aaron. Your B? Yes. Tomatin. Wow. <laughs> wow, and I love tomatin. This tastes like... That's why I don't want to do. try to guess. I just want to try to sit here to look at the flavors and pick and not no, no. think, okay, this is the air and this is where I'm, I'm going. I'm not thinking of it. I'm just, uh, I mean... I hate to, but I mean, at the same time, that's what you're... That's fun, though. Yeah. It's yeah. fun because this felt like a higher ABV. It is a 46. Okay, it's close, I guess, but it's not the 50. And then what was the ABV on the Balvenie again? 43. Okay. Um, okay, the next one, I'm, I was sure that C was the 21-year the Balvenie. That's the Aaron. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, you're kidding me. No. This is the 21 year. Yes. Balvenie. Yeah. Huh. A? Yeah. 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 You didn't Balvenie. mix these up by accident. Nope. You got coin 125 on there? Yeah. Yeah. You're kidding me. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is where I get the sweet candy. I get very little wood. I get tons of oakenness off of the Aaron. So, okay, 
Look at mine then. I thought the A, my A was the Tomatin because of the maltiness. You want to know what it is? Yeah. Aaron. That's the Aaron? Really? Yeah. Okay. A, A is Aaron. Okay. B and C. The C had the best nose. I can't, I, I will not pick a favorite between B and C. I'll tell you, C had the best nose. It was fruity. I thought that was the Aaron. Balvenie. That's the Balvenie. Yeah. That had the best nose. That was the candy <laughs> one, right? Is that what you were getting off of that? The sweetness? Yeah, come up right up front with right. juicy fruit. Yeah, I thought, that makes some sense. That's what I got here too, uh -huh. is the, the candy Well sweetness. done. Uh, so, uh, wow, the maltness of the of the Aaron, I didn't pick that up before, I don't think. Or no, I do remember having a maltiness right. to well, it. Cause that's... But I also know Tomatin is big on, on a maltiness as well. So anyway, B and C I hate to pick. I thought, so C was the Balvini, B is the Tomatin. Both delicious. Now I'll tell you, so here again, mm -hmm. Tomatin, okay, Tomatin. see my sheet there, because I like looking at it. I'm a looker. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, now still, wait, you got I'm, some crossing out going yeah, on. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I started to pour and then, yeah. Mixed it up. Well, I didn't mix it up. I just grabbed it and poured. And then I um, so $220 for Balvini, $60. We both, you, you chose the Tomatin at yeah. 50, $60. Yes. And over, I, you're to over a $200 bottle of scotch. Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> there ain't no joke going on here. Now but, the Aaron, the Aaron I remember though too being really porty, really sweet, really fruity. Yeah, and they're, the they're oak, all good. The oak influence here really had me thinking it was the twenty one. Mm -hmm. And so you're talking some preconceived notions. Now I will tell you, from the get go of our Tomatin experience, I've told you that I love the port finish of the Tomatin. It's my favorite, and for whatever reason, we can't get this here. In Kansas, no, it has uh, not. Been yeah, available. always got to travel around and find it, and it has always been my favorite. I love the eighteen. To be honest, everything they got, but the fourteen's been my favorite. Now, I will tell you on the nose. Initially, I thought B was the Balvini. I thought it was smelled more aged and more, more oaky. Wow. And I thought C was the Aaron until I tasted, and then I was kind of flip flopping because I didn't know. I thought they're both pretty close in the ABV. The 50% on A, though, doesn't show hmm. on the Aaron. Yeah, I know. Um, that, do this, all right? Do blind tasting at home. Have your spouse pour, enjoy it with your buddy. Do exactly what we did because you really are, I mean, yeah, okay, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I got a strong oak and wood finish probably something that spent more time in the wood. Wrong. Just wrong. Um, I thought, okay, I've got a, a feel like I've got a higher ABV, a higher punch here. So I was thinking the Aaron 50, but it actually not that they're too far apart, but the Tomatin. And what was really nice is, again, it's been my favorite Tomatin. And even in this lineup, this is the one I would have picked. But yeah, I mean, that's the one you said you thought it was... I thought this thought was, was the Aaron, Aaron it, yeah. because of the strength. That's the one. And you I thought kind of this was out. the oak flavor, mm -hmm. and I thought <laughs> I thought the twenty-one-year-old with the sweetness was the tomato. Mm. And uh, huh, that's a, that's a so that's you kind of you, you really kind of favored those two. I, I I'll did. just say you favored them. Well, actually, this is the one with the wood that I thought was a little. I mean, if you're looking, I thought it was this, uh -huh. but this was the wood forward one. I th this was sweeter, mm -hmm. and I probably would have gone yeah. like this. Yeah, uh, this which is that's where I, I, I would. I mean, at, at the end of it, uh, the maltiness of, of the Aaron kind of put it. It didn't shine as well as these two, I would say. I just got a it's lot. It's still of, good. Of wood I still flavors. like it. Yeah, I got a lot of wood, and uh, so again, I had nothing to do with being balcony. I'm just, I don't lean as much toward uh, the wood, the oak flavor. Now, we'll say, though, again, the Balvini, the nose on the Balvini stood out, which I thought was the Aaron, but it was the nose on the Balvini that was really fruity, really porty, really tropical, kind of stood out. So on, on the palate, though, boy, either Tomatin, Balvini, even the Aaron, all delicious. So $220, $70, $60. What do you do? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, really, I liked them all. I, um, when we started trying the ports, the port finishes, I told Scott, 
I think I like port, well, I don't know. I like port finishes maybe a twinge better than a sherry finish. Just a twinge. Mm, no. Just for sherry. me. Sherry. I know. Ooh. Just for me, though. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. I know. I know. Now, let's get to, um, we've got the free giveaway. Um, to Matin, if you watched our top 12 scotches, they gave away a bottle of their Tomatin 12. Their standard Tomatin 12, very nice grain flavors that are in there. Um, that has open and closed, but they wanted to give away. So we are going to do, it's known by two different names, mm -hmm. Legacy mm -hmm. or Dualcus. Dualcus. I always say Dualcus, but it's Dualcus. Yeah. I think you're right. I'm yeah. sure your pronunciation is correct. Because that's what we were told, right? Do all cuss. We don't see this bottle, we don't touch this bottle. In order to get into this contest, comment in the comment section and be a subscriber of our channel. Mm -hmm. So you've got to subscribe to Scotch Test Dummies. And what do you want them to say? Just say Tomatin Legacy. Tomatin Legacy is or it? Tomatin Dualcus. Okay. Either way, whichever way you know it. Legacy is easier. Legacy, well, unless you're in Europe. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, Duolcus is the United States. Oh my God! Now I look like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten. Duolcus <laughs> is in the United States. That's yeah. right, because they had a they had a problem with the patent of legacy in the United States from mm -hmm. a bourbon. I think right? so. I think you're I right. Remember I think you're right. That's crazy that the European one is legacy. Yep. And Duolcus, which sounds very Spanishy. So just a uh, comment though. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, this will air on May 13th. Yeah. We'll run this for a week. So you have Seven until uh, May 20th to comment. Right. To Matt and Legacy. And we like doing the random number generator um, mm -hmm. live and then just calling out whoever that matches up to. Um, Scott actually does a good job of pulling out everybody that enters the contest. But remember, you've got to say to Matt and Legacy or Dualcus. And, uh, and we'll put you in the contest. And be a subscriber, because we go back and we verify, are you a subscriber? Yes. And obviously we're we trying to get our, yeah, I, yeah, I always go look, because we're trying to get our sub subscription rate up as well. And um, Tomatin was gracious to offer this up. Yeah. Gracious. They've been great supporters. Oh, of phenomenal. We love Tomatin. Love Tomatin. Okay, um, so let's wrap it up because I think we've gone long enough. We've got a, a quick uh, Patreon shout out to do. That is true. We got We're, a new Patreon supporter. Mel, and it's Mitch, Mel Troja. A Mel, yeah. I think we're saying Mel. it right. Troja. T-R-O. I'd say Troja. 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 It's a cool name. Yep. Mel Troja. Um, and we're going to put a picture in here because he ordered a coin and he got the coin. So you do want to match that picture up here. Yeah, I we'll thought that right might have been in another show. Maybe, maybe he gets to declare. Maybe he gets it twice. Maybe you don't. We'll see. Maybe you, don't. you know what? I want to call him based on that photo. So you're right. We need the photo in here. I want to nickname him the Ripper. <laughs> hey, the I Ripper. like it. He was so excited when he got it mm -hmm. that at the mailbox, as you've seen or are seeing now, he rips open the package. Rips it open, tears it open, has to get to the coin, mm -hmm. pulls the coin out, finds out there's a handwritten message, not always guaranteed, from this man right here. Hey, thank you very much. Well, he's like, he got a coin. I think he I think he got the Jack Daniels double barrel. I think you're right. The single barrel, barrel proof. We call it the double barrel. You, we call it the double barrel. It's like a coach gun. Which led us to want to, because we've had a lot of people that love getting the coins that have been used in the shows. Personalizes it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's that. nice. So, you can go say, hey, look, that's my coin there. Look so what you did, Mel. He rips it, takes a photo. I loved it. I saw it, made my day, because you know what it looked like? Youth. Mm -hmm. I remember when I waited for months and months to get my Boba Fett figure mm -hmm. in the mail. Oh, yeah. I was getting the mail for the family, looking, and finally, mm -hmm. you know, there's an old problem with the rocket launcher coming out, so they had to change it, and delay, delay, delay. Yeah. It shows up in a little box. I was like, ah! <laughs> and, I, and I, like, opened it. Oh, yeah, this is the Boba Fett! I got it. And that's what it looked like Mel did with our deal. He took a picture. <laughs> boom. Out. Freedom Rock. Took me back. Freedom Rock. The album. No, I ordered the album. I can remember. Oh, is that what like did it? I wasn't sure what you were saying. Six, seven, eight years here. old. Yeah, really? Freedom Rock. You know, remember? Rock. Hey, dude. A mixture. Is that Freedom Rock? Yeah. Well, turn it up, dude. Wow. Had the guys like out at the VW little uh, van. Right. At the campsite. Yeah. Long-haired hippies. Living good. 
freedom living rock. pure life with Freedom Rock. Was it Freedom Rock or Freedom Jam? Now I don't remember. It freedom, might have been Jam. Is that Freedom Rock? I don't freedom know. Jam? Comment, freedom rock. comment on that. On top of everything I waited for smell. six to eight weeks every day for that album. But look at that. I, I felt so good that day because I'm look, look, Mel was so excited he got it in the mail. He took a shot of it, and you could see the side of the package was just like <laughs> like he ripped it open with his teeth. He was like, I gotta get to this, and then inside's a, a coin All right, we gotta go. in a bag Come on. with a note. We're way past our way limit. past, but it was entertaining. It was entertaining. There's a contest getting the contest. Menage a Portois. Go to Patreon to support us. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Come, order a coin, Portois, order a glass, a shirt. These Go shirts the, are phenomenal. You bet you. There's several designs out, to choose look. from. Craziness. Look what we're doing now, because you know what we're going to do? We're going to scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.